Hey, I'm Jared Karkoff and welcome to this week's Governor's Address. This is the weekly feature we do at letsgop.com where we give you the fans an inside look at Austin P Athletics. Be sure to keep up with everything happening at letsgop.com or on Twitter at letsgop. National Signing Day is just around the corner for football and women's soccer. This will be head football coach Will Healy's first recruiting class as APSU begins its signing period this Wednesday, February 3rd. Track and field had another great weekend, finishing third overall at the Thundering Herd Invitational. Bree Jones, Terry Morris, Molly Jordan, and Kimolette Ross were runner-up in the 4x400-meter relay. Freshman Savannah Amato and Daisha Hicks finished first and second in the pole vault, while Kimolette Ross tied a school record in the 60-meter, finishing runner-up and then set a school record in the 200 meter dash. Basketball had a big conference win Saturday over SEMO, moving them to three and six in conference play. The 86 to 80 victory was led by a 30 point effort by Josh Robinson. Khalil Davis, Chris Horton, and Kenny Jones were also in double digits for the night. Robinson hit the go ahead jumper with three minutes to play, but not before freshman Jared Savage hit a pair of free throws to tie the game. Aubrey Marcellus is with the freshman standout, Jared Savage, now. Thanks, Jared. I'm here with freshman Jared Savage off the men's basketball team, who's been seeing quite a bit playing time this season. Um, Jared, were you expecting to see this much playing time as a freshman? I wasn't expecting to see this much. I expected a little bit, but not as much as I am now. Mm -hmm. Right, so your versatility allows Coach Luce to put you in in different positions. Which position do you feel most comfortable going in? Uh, probably the three on the wing because I played that almost all my life. So mm -hmm. I'm just, that's my natural position. Awesome. And you guys got a big win against SEMO this past weekend. Um, with the current five game road trip, is it a real make it or break it for you guys? I think it'll, it'll make us, if we get some wins on the road, it'll give us the motivation and confidence we need going into the postseason. That's great. Well, thanks, Jared. And uh, Jared, back to you. Tell us what's going on at the P. <laughs> This week, both basketball teams will travel to UT Martin with the women's team playing Wednesday at 6 p.m. and the men's team playing Thursday at 6. Both teams will then head up the road for a doubleheader against rival Murray State Saturday. The women's team will start the night off at 5 p.m. and the men's will follow at 7. <laughs> Track and field team is looking to keep up the great performances this weekend as they travel to Murfreesboro for the Middle Tennessee Invitational Friday and Saturday. The women's tennis team will host two matches this weekend at the Governor's Tennis Center, with Friday's match against Dayton starting at 2 p.m. and Saturday's match against Chattanooga starting at noon. Stories, videos, dates, details, and more, visit letsgop.com or follow us on Twitter at Let's Go P and like the official Austin P Athletics page on Facebook. To get in on the action this winter in the Dunn, visit letsgop.com slash sports or just call 931-221-PEAY for tickets.